Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In today's video, we are going to learn something about remainder and remainder in case, particularly in case of factorial. So before solving this question, we have to know about the remainder and the meaning of this factorial. And let's see how we can solve this question. So let's understand the meaning of remainder first. Any number, for example, 25, let's say we divide by seven. So seven threes are 21. So integral multiple is 21 and the leftover is four. When we subtract 25 and 21, we are getting four. This four is known as remainder. So remainder is obtained when we divide by a certain number and certain multiple, integral multiple, and the leftover is known as remainder. Now, let's see something about Wilson's theorem. In case of uh, factorial, this is the theorem which is applicable. First, let us understand about the factorial. Factorial of a number is known as one to product of the number from one to n. So five factorial is one, two, three, four, five. And here the question is, what is the remainder when 16 factorial is divided by 17? So before I explain this, let me give you a smaller number. For example, four factorial divided by five. Now four factorial divided by five is one into two into three into four divided by five. To find out the remainder of this divided by four, five. First we multiply this and divide by four, five. So four threes are 12, twos are 24 divided by five. And 24, divided by five is, remainder is four. Now here comes the general format of Wilson's theorem. Wilson's theorem says that if you divide any factorial, say n factorial by n plus one, and if n plus one is a prime, then the remainder will always be equal to n. This is the general format of, of Wilson's theorem. n factorial divided by n plus one, where n plus one is the prime, the remainder will be n. So in this case, the number is 16 factorial. We have to divide by 17. 17 is a prime number. So general format will be n factorial upon n plus one, where n plus one is the prime, 17 is the prime, and the remainder will be 16. So when you divide 16 factorial by 17, the remainder will be 16, and this is known as Wilson's theorem. Let's say one more example, 10 factorial divided by 11. Is 11 is a prime number, n is 10, n plus 1 is 11, that is a prime number. So remainder when 10 factorial is divided by 11 is equal to 10. So when you take any number, which is a prime number, and you take one less than that number in the numerator, then the remainder of factorial of that number will always be prime number minus 1. This is general format of Wilson's theorem. So in this case, the answer of this question is 16 factorial divided by 17. The remainder will be 16. Now, <clears throat> we have to find out the factor, uh, remainder when factorial 15 is divided by 17. Let's see how we can solve this question. Let's say that 
15 factorial divided by 17, the remainder is x. Now, we already know that 16 factorial divided by 17, the remainder is 16. Remainder of this division is 16. 16 factorial can be written as 16 into 15 factorial divided by 17. And the remainder will be 16. Now, another theorem related to uh, remainder is if there are two numbers, say 5 and 4, and we have to divide by 3. Either you multiply this two and find out the remainder, three six are eighteen, and the remainder is two, or you divide individually and multiply the remainder. Five divided by three, the remainder is two, and four divided by three, the remainder is one. So two into one. So individual remainder we can multiply. We can calculate the remainder individually and multiply the remainder. Now let's apply this theorem here in this case. 16 divided by 17, 17 zeros, that is 16. So 16 cannot be divided by 17. The remainder will be 16 only. So in this case, the remainder is 16. And 15 factorial when divided by 17, you assume that the value is x is equals to 16. So we can say that 16 is equal to 16 and x is will be 16 by 16 is 1. So we got the value of x as 1, that is when 15 factorial is divided by 17, the result will be 1. And this will always be true. So till now we have used two theorems. Let's write down those theorems. Wilson's theorem and its corollary. That is if we divide by a prime number, p is a prime number and the number is p minus 1 factorial then the remainder for this division will always be p minus 1. This is the first reason. And if you divide p minus 2 factorial by p, p is the prime number, then the remainder will always be 1. These are the two generalized form or formula of Wilson's theorem. Now, let's extrapolate this to 14 factorial. We have to find out 14 factorial to divide by 17. We have to find out the remainder. You have just seen that 16 factorial divided by 17, the remainder is 16. Now 16 factorial can be written as 16 into 15 into 14 divided by 17. The remainder is 16. Now here I am explaining <clears throat> another concept of remainder that the remainder can also be negative. For example, if 75 divided by 7, 7 threes are 21, the remainder is 4. And we can also write that 7 fours are 28 and remainder is minus 3. We can take the remainder as negative also in some cases or in for calculation purpose. Let's apply this remainder theorem in this case. We have to find out 14 factorial by 17. Let's say this value is x. Now we have to find out 16 into 15 into 14 factorial divided by 17. We know that the value is 16, remainder is 16. So 16 divided by 17, taking the negative remainder, we have remainder is minus 1. So 15 divided by 17. 17 ones are 17 minus 2. And 14 factorial by 17, we have assumed that x is 16. Minus 1 into minus 2 is 2x, 16. So the value of x is 16 by 2. And that is equal to 8. Remainder is 8. Now, in case, let's generalize this formula. If the value is p minus 3 factorial by p, then the remainder will be p minus 1 by 2. In case of 14 factorial by 17, the remainder will be 17 minus 1 by 2, that is 16 by 2, the remainder will be 8. So we have done all the three numbers. 16 factorial by 17 will be 16. 
15 factorial by 17 will always be 1 whenever t minus 2 is given. And if t minus 3 is given, then the remainder will be t minus 1 by 2. That is 16 by 2. 17 minus 1 by 2, 16 by 2, that is 16, 1 and 8. I hope friends you like this video. Please like our videos and subscribe to our channel.